Dear students, in this video, we are going to solve examples of practice set 5.3 from the chapter Quadrilaterals. First example, diagonals of rectangle ABCD intersect at point O. AC is equal to 8 centimeter. AC is given as 8 centimeter. Find DO if angle C CAD is 35 degree. Find angle ACB. This angle we have to find ACB. Now, first it is given that AC diagonal AC is equal to 8 centimeter. Therefore, diagonals of by property, diagonals of rectangle are congruent, they are equal. Therefore, AC is equal to BD. AC is congruent to BD. AC and BD are equal. Therefore, BD is equal to 8 centimeter. Diagonal BD is equal to 8 centimeter. Here we have to find DO. Now BO is equal to. Now we know that diagonals of from the uh, rectangle bisect each other. So by property, now diagonals of rectangle bisect each other therefore bo bo is equal to 1 upon 2 bd that is 1 upon 2 into 8 to 1 are 2 4 za, which is 4 centimeters so bo is equal to 4 centimeter now Angle C A D is given as 35 degree. You have to find angle A C B. Now opposite sides, opposite sides of rectangle are parallel. Therefore, here A D is parallel to B C. And we will consider AC as a transversal. Therefore, AD is parallel to BC and diagonal AC is a transversal. Diagonal AC is a transversal. Therefore, angle CAD, therefore, angle CAD is congruent to angle BCA. It's congruent to angle BC or AC B. They are congruent since two parallel lines intersected by transversal. The alternate angles are congruent. So this is 35. So this is this angle B, AC B is also 35 degree. So these are the alternate angles. Alternate angles are congruent. Therefore, major angle. ACB is equal to 35 degrees. Second example. In a rhombus PQRS, if PQ is equal to 7.5 cm, then find QR. If angle QPS is equal to 75 degree, then find angle PQR and angle S R Q. This angle we have to find. So first thing PQ is given. PQ side PQ is equal to 7.5 centimeter. As we know the property of rhombus that sides of the rhombus are by property all sides of rhombus are Congruent, therefore, therefore, length P 
PQ is congruent to length QR. PQ is 7.5 cm, therefore QR is also 7.5 cm. Now, regarding angle, angle QPS is 75 degree. Now, this angle QPS and angle, we have to find angle PQR. These two are angles are adjacent angles of rhombus. And the property of adjacent angles, adjacent angles of rhombus, adjacent angles of rhombus are supplementary, are supplementary. Therefore, angle QPS angle QPS plus major angle QPS plus major angle PQR major angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle QPS is 75 degree plus major angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, major angle PQR is equal to 180 minus 75 which is equal to 105 degree. 180 minus 75 is 105. So, therefore, major angle PQR is equal to 105 degree. Now, we have to find major angle SRQ. So, the property of rhombus that opposite angles of rhombus are congruent. So, here major angle SRQ is congruent to major angle QPS. Opposite angles of rhombus are congruent. Therefore, now major angle QPS is 75 degree. Therefore, major angle SRQ is equal to 75 degree. Third example, diagonals of square IJAN intersect at point M. Find the measure of angle IMJ. Angle J I K J I K and angle L J K. Now here quadrilateral I J K L is a square is a square and we know the property of square. So each angle each angle of a square of a square is right angle therefore angle IJK angle IJK is equal to angle JKL is equal to angle KLI KLI is equal to angle J I L angle angle J I L angle J I L is equal to 90 degree. Now we know that diagonals of square diagonals of square bisect each other at right angle at right angle therefore this bisect each other at 90 degree therefore angle I and J is equal to 90 degree now diagonal so by property diagonal so square bisect opposite angles opposite 
angles. Therefore, this 90 degrees bisected into two parts and this also is bisected in two parts. So here the angle which we require here therefore angle angle J I K is one half major angle J I K is half of angle major angle J I L. Now angle J I L is 90 degree from one each angle is 90 therefore 1 upon 2 into 90 to 1 the 45 degree therefore angle J I A is equal to 45 degree. Also similarly in the same manner the third angle which we have to find is angle L J K angle L J K this angle angle L J K angle L J K is equal to 1 upon 2 times angle I J K angle major angle I J K see and I go on bisect opposite angles therefore angle J L J K is equal to 1 upon 2 into 90 to 1 the 2 into 45 therefore angle L J K is equal to 45 Fourth example, diagonals of rhombus are 20 cm and 21 cm respectively. Then find the side and the perimeter of the rhombus. So let us consider a quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rhombus. We know that the diagonal, then diagonal AC is equal to 20 centimeter and diagonal BD is equal to 21 centimeter. And we know the property of rhombus that diagonals of rhombus bisect each other at right angle. So by property, by property of rhombus, diagonals of rhombus bisect each other at a right angle right angle they bisect each other here BO is equal to OD and AO is equal to OC therefore AO is equal to one half AC bisect each other that is 1 upon 2 into AC is equal to 20 which is equal to 2 ones are 2 tens are 20 10 centimeter and DO is equal to 1 upon BO is equal to 1 upon 2 into BD bisect each other diagonals bisect each other therefore 1 upon 2 into 21 21 ones are that is 10.5 centimeter. Now, by the proper here, now triangle in triangle in triangle ABO in triangle ABO major angle AOB is equal to 90 degrees since diagonal bisect each other at right angle. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, AB square. Here side opposite to 90 degrees the hypotenuse. So AB square is equal to AO square plus BO square by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, AB square is equal to AO square plus BO square. Since triangle AOB is a right angle triangle, so we can apply the Pythagoras and we can find the side AB. Therefore, AB square is equal to 10 square is 100 plus 10.5 square is 110.25. Therefore, AB square is equal to 210.25. Therefore, 
ए बी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो साइड ऑफ द रोमस साइड ए बी इज इक्वल टू फोर फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो साइड नाउ ऑल साइड ऑफ द रोमस आर कॉन्ग्रेट बाई प्रॉपर्टी ऑल साइड All sides of rhombus are equal. Therefore, perimeter of rhombus is equal to four sides are there, and four all four are equal. So, four into side, which is equal to four into fourteen point five. Four into fourteen point five is fifty-eight centimeter. So perimeter is fifty-eight, and side of the rhombus is fourteen point five centimeter. 